Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to week two of our fabulous technical writing class. Uh, hopefully you're staying warm in all of this crazy snow because this was unexpected. Weird. All right, so this week we are getting into some more technical aspects of writing. The first week we kind of familiarized ourselves with uh, the class. We did a little diagnostic for APA style uh, and just a little letter of introduction. Uh, we are going to start reading a bit more in our textbook and we're going to work on something called definitions writing. Um, so you're going to work on that this week. You're going to read writing definitions in your textbook. Uh, if you have a different edition of the textbook, go to either the table of contents or the index and find the definitions chapter and go ahead and read through that intro to definitions. Uh, same with summarizing. I've got the page numbers for you here, but if your textbook is a different edition, go to the back and look up summarizing in the index and you'll find what you need there. Uh, and then we are working on that writing definitions assignment. So if we go to this snazzy uh, website I've created with the help of one of my fantastic colleagues named Bob Peterson, uh, this will tell you all about the assignment and give us some really good examples. So the definitions assignment asks us to define several words, tumbleweed, semicolon, plagiarism, social media, and then any term you want to use. But these definitions are very special definitions because it's technical writing and we got to have rules for everything. Uh, so you're going to follow this formula, the name or term defined, the category or class to which the term belongs, and features or characteristics that differentiate that term from all others in the class. This is called a three-part definition. Uh, I've got some examples down here for you, uh, and you can also go to the next page and see how a paragraph definition would look, um, which you are also going to complete for this assignment. So it's a two-part. You've got the sentence definitions and then a paragraph definition where you pick one of your words that you already defined and write a paragraph. Here are some suggestions that break it down in steps, so make sure you do all six of these steps. And then you can take a look at these sample paragraphs to see uh, how an effective form of this writing might look. So lots of great examples for us here. Uh, do make sure you're reading through uh, that special supplemental website to help you be successful there. Um, and then we do have our diagnostic revision exercise. Uh, what I would like you to do is look at this diagnostic solution key here. So open up what you submitted to me. I'll be grading those this week, uh, but don't wait for my grades. Go ahead and do this on your own for the diagnostic revision. Open up the solution key in one window. Open up what you submitted in the other window. Find your mistakes and then uh, fix three of them. So find three errors uh, and type correct versions like this. So you've got your corrected version and your mirror sentences. Uh, here's the template to use in this revision exercise. So download the template, put your answers into the template, and then upload it to the assignment. And that's what you're going to be working on as a part of the revision exercise. And that's what this week looks like. Uh, the modules are a great place to go. If you have questions, you want supplemental support, all of that good stuff, there is a whole folder for each of our major assignments. So the writing definitions folder is right here. Here's a recorded lecture where I will teach you exactly how to write definitions. So please, 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 please watch it. Please watch it. It will help you so much. I'm not even kidding. And it's not that long. It's like 10 minutes long. So please watch it. It will walk you through the entire process with a lot of detail. Uh, here's some sample definitions you can take a look at. Uh, if you're struggling with APA citation, here's a night site generator. Uh, and here's just a little note on why definitions are important, why we might find ourselves writing in this style uh, outside of the classroom. So lots of great things located for us in our modules folder. Awesome. So that's what we're doing this week. We are revising our diagnostic exercise. We're going to be submitting that on Friday. And then on Sunday, by midnight, you're going to submit that writing definitions assignment as well. Uh, I do respond to emails. I try and do it pretty quickly. I check it several times throughout the day. So it should never be more than 24 hours to get a response from me. Uh, during the work week. Over the weekends, I do try and save that time for my family, so the response time is closer probably to 48 hours than 24. So I am yours to help you out Monday through Friday. The weekends, I do check the emails, but it's more sporadic. So um, if you are emailing me at 9 p.m. on Sunday asking for help, 
I probably won't see it till Monday morning, right? So reach out ahead of time if you have questions, and I do try and get back to you really quickly during the work week. Um, so have a great week, guys. Stay warm in all of this crazy snow, and reach out if you have questions.